Greetings to all our IMAPS clients and investors. Let me walk you through the latest changes made to the Focus Growth Fund portfolio. 2024 equity markets continue delivering, delivering positive returns. The dollar has strengthened while interest rates remain stable. A stick inflation and mixed economic signals keep delaying the loosening of US monetary policy. The US labor market, consumption figures, and credit metrics continue deteriorate coming from positive historical levels, not yet having broad economic impact. The AI infrastructure and adoption keep on propelling the US equity market. The third quarter will presumably be a volatile one. On the political side, driven by the beginning of the last stretch in the US presidential range, race, along with the increase in French political unrest and geopolitical turbulence around the world. On the economic side, Data will play a key role shaping U.S. monetary policy and real estate market behavior. On the financial front, the AI bottom line impact in companies either using or producing the new technology will be key to support current valuations. The portfolio allocation is positioned to optimize risk-adjusted performance with an overweight in alternative investments balanced with an underweight in fixed income while keeping a neutral allocation to equities. Furthermore, our regional allocation is well in line with the benchmark. Year to date, we have reduced exposure to clean energy, emerging market equities, and private real estate. In the case of, in the, case of the first two, excess supply, rising, rising in trade barriers, and lagging fundamentals are creating headwinds. While private real estate valuations seem generous versus public real estate, creating a potential negative mark-to-market risk. We have concentrated exposure to U.S. utilities and healthcare. AI computing will persistently increase electricity demand in the U.S., making utilities a net beneficiary of AI adoption. Healthcare, on the other hand, will also take advantage of the increasing productivity and cost reduction provided by that technology adoption. This makes both sectors resilient as a defensive play in a recessionary environment while key protagonists in U.S. economic growth. These sectors are complemented with a focused allocation to information technology to create a barbell allocation able to provide balanced performance in a positive or negative market. Finally, we have rotated the Japan and U.S. mid-cap allocation from passive to active managers to increase our ability to navigate higher market volatility. We hope you are well, and as always, please reach out to your financial advisor or investment professional with any questions you may have. Thank you. Insignia Financial Group LLC comprises a number of operating businesses engaged in the offering of brokerage and advisory products and services in various jurisdictions, principally in Latin America. Brokerage products and services are offered through Insignia International Financial Services LLC, headquartered in Puerto Rico, and through Insignia Securities LLC, headquartered in Miami. Both are members of the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, and Securities Investors Protection Corporation, CIPIC. Investment advisory products and services are offered through Insignia Advisory Services, LLC, an investment advisor registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. In Uruguay, advisory services are offered through Insignia International Asesores de Inversión Uruguay, SA, Insignia Asesores de Inversión LATAM, SRL, and Insignia Asesores de Inversión de Uruguay, SRL, in Argentina, and through Insignia Argentina, SAU, and in Chile through Insignia Asesorías Financieras, SPA. Collectively, these eight operating businesses make up the Insignia Financial Group. To learn more about the broker-dealers, including their conflicts of interest and compensation practices, please go to https colon forward slash forward slash insignia.com forward slash disclosures forward slash or via www.finra.org. To learn about Insignia Advisory Services and any conflicts related to its advisory services, please see its form ADV and brochure, which can be found at, ins- at investment public Advisor Public Disclosures website, https colon forward slash forward slash advisorinfo.sec.gov forward slash.